Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer with Agile Technologies. Today I want to show you how the N6705B can be used to design products with longer battery run time. I have two nearly identical wireless temperature sensor. It turns out the newer design actually uses half as much current, doubling the battery life. So let's go ahead and make some measurements. As you can see, we've replaced the batteries with the N6705B DC power analyzer. I've set up the data logging for two minutes, so we'll go ahead and start that. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power to our wireless sensor. And so we'll see some current being drawn from the temperature sensor as it turns on. And then it returns back to an idle state, so it's pulling very little current. And then we see our first pulse of current, and that's the wireless temperature sensor sending out its data. Now our data logging is complete. We can see that the wireless transmitter transmits every 30 seconds and over the two minute period it uses an average of about 260 microamps. Inside our DC power analyzer we're using the N6781A SMU which has the seamless auto ranging feature. So it's able to measure that idle current very accurately as well as the peak current during a transmission cycle. So we're able in a single pass to be able to capture the complete current profile very accurately. So now we can go ahead and zoom in on a single cycle of our current. So let's go ahead and zoom in to take a closer look at our current. So here's a single cycle. I'm going to move my markers in so we can make the measurement. So now we're able to measure the current between the two markers during a single cycle of transmitting the data. We can further zoom in. I'll go ahead and make that adjustment and look at a single pulse. So I'm going to keep zooming in on the pulse. So we can accurately characterize a single pulse of current as well. We can put our markers around it. So using this information, we're able to create devices that use less current. So I'd like to go ahead and switch our temperature sensor. I'll use the same setup and take a look at its current profile. We finished data logging our second sensor, and as you can see, it transmits much more frequently, and the peak values are actually higher. However, the pulses are more narrow, causing the device to be at its idle state more often, and the overall average current is much lower. It's just over 100 microamps, so it creates a battery life that's almost double the original sensor. So as you can see, it's really easy to use the N6705B DC power analyzer to analyze the dynamic current used by these battery operated devices making changes in either hardware or software you can see the effects on the dynamic current over a period of time thus improving the device thanks for watching